Hello everybody. I just want to make a short video here on how to export with your metadata and getting the images to the correct size and also a little bit of file naming protocol. Okay, so I have these images here. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to hit Control Shift E or you can go to File Export and you get the export dialog and you'll see it says export six files and you want to go to your hard drive alright uh, you want to pick a folder here I have mine um, choose folder later so it's going to ask me when I hit export it's going to ask me what folder I want to go to and then you have file naming which I'll show you real quick if you see this I have AEP 2016 now this is my file naming convention if I go to edit I can say let me just uh, go back clear this up so if I want how I like to name my files I like to put a date and I like my date to be in this format here and then I have the date it enters that there and you'll see an example here it uh, gives you an example of what it's going to look like so then I do an underscore and then I do I insert a custom text and then I do another underscore and then I do a sequence of three digits and that's it so and then I hit then I say done okay so then when I put in my custom text here it'll put the that into the file naming okay and then you go ahead and name that whatever you want alright so once you get your file name I won't do that right now once you have that done you come down to file settings and you want your image format to be JPEG. You want your quality to be from 60 to 75, which is plenty good for on the web, you know, for screens. If you do 100, your file sizes will be a lot long, a lot larger, and they won't be visibly better. So, you know, somewhere on 75, somewhere in there is good. Now, um, for image size, you check image size, and what I usually do is go to the short edge and make it 1080p, so that's like a high definition file. Um, if you wanted to make it larger, you can make this 3000, and that'll make the short edge from top to bottom 3000 pixels. So if you're working with a landscape format, that might make it 5000 pixels across, which is pretty big. So 1080p, 1080 pixels is good. And resolution is always, always 72 pixels per inch when you're sharing on the screen, okay? You don't need to change this number. You just need to make sure it's 72. And then you always want to sharpen um, for screen when you're going to the screen. Um, and then standard, low, or high. I usually just use standard. And this is, this, this is output sharpening. This is different than... Um, the sharpening you would use in the develop module. You still need to do this even though you sharpened already in the develop module, okay? And then we have at the bottom here, near the bottom, we have metadata. Now, all metadata is all this information here, and this is what I'd like you to include um, in your files when you send me, or you post them on Slack or something. You just want to select all metadata so it has all the information from your raw file is going to be transferred to your JPEG. If you want to put a watermark on it, you check that there. And then the post-processing, if you don't want to do anything, you just say do nothing. Or if you want to see them when it's done, show an explorer if you're on PC or whatever it's called on Mac, I'm not sure. And then you just hit export. And now it's going to ask me to choose the folders. So I choose the folder, and then I get my export dialog. And you'll see up here, it's exporting six files. It'll take just a second. All right, well, I've got them in a big file here, so let me um, view details by date, by file name, and then we'll have our, our test files here. All right, well, you don't need to see them. Anyway, that's how you do it. Um, I hope that was useful to you, and I will see you soon.